there are sometimes these things in PixInsight which you assume they're obvious, they're easy until they go wrong. <laughs> and then you start to look more in detail what's actually happening, what works and what doesn't work. And a good example here is the interaction between pixel math and masks. And right after the trailer, we look at how we have to deal with masks that it actually works in pixel math. <laughs> Hey, this is View Into Space, I'm Sascha from Switzerland, so grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. Let's head now right to my computer. Okay, and here we have all what we need. We have pixel math, we have two pictures which we want to combine with pixel math, but we do not want to combine them completely, but only partially, and that's why we have a mask. And I on purpose did also this here, so that we really, really see is it affected by the mask or is it not? But just to start with, let's just do the obvious. I left everything by default. We go into the expression editor and we say red plus green. We say okay. I move this to one of the picture and here it goes. Red and green gives yellow. So that's standard pixel math. Let's undo that now and let's add the mask. So we only want to add some red at certain parts of these pictures and the rest we want to protect. So we add here this mask to the green, that's done. So if I actually make this visible, then you see. So the background is protected and only here the nebula and our little crazy cross here, we want to be affected by the red. So let's hide the mask again. Same stuff here, red and green. I take the triangle, and put it in here and it worked perfectly. We have only the yellow here in the nebula and in my square here. So you might ask, what's the problem, Sasha? Why did you actually even do this video? Why are you wasting my time? Okay, let's do something else. Let's say, I mean, it doesn't matter. Should I now put the triangle here in the green one or the red one? At the end, it's putting the stuff together. So let's put it in the red one. You should get the same picture, right? And you see what? Didn't work. Okay, let's do something else. Sometimes it's recommended that we do not overwrite our pictures, that we create a new image, right? So we change here to create new image. Do that, press the square button, and look at that. Mask didn't work. So what did we learn so far? And, and that is crucial. <laughs> and I only figured that out once it affected me and you know here it's blatantly obvious that the mask didn't work but sometimes it is not that obvious you go like why is it now suddenly a little bit brighter and you wonder so so that's why it's crucial to really know what's happening here the mask only works if you keep replace target image and if you put the triangle on the image that has the mask activated. And that is the thing to consider. Now, I wanna show you, just because perhaps sometimes it comes handy, I wanna show you a complete other way of how you can do that. So let's take here the, the mask away. My mask is actually called mask. Here it is. So, now what if I stayed here red times mask plus green? Now I can actually go here, create new image and activate it. And ta-da, here it is. Same result as before. And I obviously have much more flexibility now. Without changing masks or so, I can simply say red plus green times mask. Again, execute. And here I have the opposite now. So that's another way how I can deal with that. Okay, and that's already it. Short and sweet, but as easy as it is to explain it here, if you don't know it, it can absolutely drive you crazy and make you waste hours. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing to my channel to get more tips and tricks. See you next time and clear skies.